Welcome to this Blackpool Music School video all about beginner bar chords for the guitar. I am using an electric guitar in this video but you can use an acoustic or nylon Spanish classical whatever you wish as long as it's tuned E A D G B E that's all we need so let's get started so what is a bar chord? A bar chord is basically a movable chord that you can move up and down the neck and play other chords using certain shapes. So we'll start with the most basic bar chord. In this case it's E. So you know your E chord on the guitar. This time I want you to play it using these three fingers. Forget this first finger doesn't exist for the moment. So you play it like that. That's an E chord. If you slide it up one fret and bar at the first, so that's a bar with the E chord, that is now F. Slide it up one more, so you're barring at the second E chord shape, that is F sharp. It can also be known as G flat. We'll come on to that later. So move it up one more, that's G at the third fret. You're barring at the third E shape. When they say bar at, they normally mean this finger, what fret you're barring at. In this case, not first, second, third. That is a G. Slide up to the fourth, G sharp, up to the fifth, A, up to the sixth, A sharp, seventh, B, slide it up to the eighth, there's no B sharp, and we go back to C. So as you can see, with one chord shape, we can play a lot of chords. And that's basically what a bar chord is. So you may ask, what's the point of this when I can play chords in other ways? Well, they're called cowboy chords, basically. I'm not sure why. I imagine it's because they've got open strings and it's easy to strum along with. There is a downside to that is you have to do a lot of palm muting with your right hand if you don't want the chord to ring. Whereas if we do an F chord like that, I'm barring across all six strings. I can strum and relax my hand and kill the note dead. And that's how you can use it. You can use it as a mute on your left hand instead of palm muting with your right, or you can use both. It also means you can play chord progressions without breaking shape. So if we were to do a 12 bar blues, the first chord would be at the first fret. So we do four bars of this. Four bars of four strums to the bar. For this video, I will just be strumming down on the one, two, three, four. So after four, one, two, three, four. First bar. Second bar. Third bar. Fourth bar. For the second chord we need, we are barring at the sixth and the E shape. And we are doing two bars. So it's after four. One, two, three, four. Then back to the first for two bars. So we'll do that first eight bars of the 12 bar blues. I will write a description in the description down below. We Every letter you see we are doing four strums. Just down for now. You can add up strokes later but for now we'll just stick with down strokes. So after four, one, two, three, four. And that is the first eight bars of the 12 bar blues. For the last four bars, you will need to bar at the eighth and the E shape. For one bar, the sixth, for one bar, and back to the first, for one bar. So we'll go through that starting at the eighth, after four, one, two, three, four. Back to the sixth. Then two bars at the first. So 
So the whole 12 bars would sound something like this. After four, one, two, three, four. So you've just played the 12 bar blues in the key of F, because that's an F chord. Now if you wanted to play in F sharp, all you need to do is move up one fret and move the other chords up one fret. So your starting bass would be the second. That would be your main chord, that would be F sharp. Your second chord, instead of being at the 6th, will be at the 7th. And the other chord will be at the 9th, not the 8th. So you can see, with one pattern, you just keep the gaps in between. And you can play the blues in any key you want. So, if somebody said to you, I play the blues, say, in... A flat, that's a nice bluesy key. A flat will be bar at the fourth fret and the E shape. And how many you've moved up from the F there, which is one, two, three, because you'd be bar in there, one, two, three. You just move everything up three frets. So you can play the 12 bar blues, a basic 12 bar blues, using this one chord shape and keeping everything relevant. So that's a lesson on a very basic 12 bar blues. If you just remember the first lesson where we started on F and all of them, however many spaces you move it up, you just do it to the other two chords and you can play the 12 bar blues. This is particularly handy on jam sessions when somebody might say we do blues in A sharp, you might not know all your A sharp chords and all the others. All you would do is start at the 6th fret. That is A sharp. So, I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Blackpill Music School. The more subscribers they get, the more thumbs up we get, the more videos we will post. So please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Until next time, keep playing, keep practicing, and as always, goodbye.